Hello people. This is going to be a quick video about how to make MS-DOS disk images. So you can put the old DOS games or your own files and run them on your old DOS laptops or desktops. And in this case, uh, you know, I'm running games and stuff from the 80s on my old Tandy 1400 laptop well yeah it's kind of a laptop with a GoTech drive and I was having trouble you know putting images on the thumb drive uh, just I could locate the software like the games but I was having trouble of actually like putting them in an image that the GoTech drive can read and I finally found out a solution and it's pretty simple and it's free you know you don't have to register or only get to use it for 30 days you can get to use it as much as you want to now you will need Linux or uh, Ubuntu but uh, or if you got a Mac you can use a Mac and I'm gonna show you how to do that all right Create MS DOS images for free. Here we go. All right, I'm going to be doing that on my VIC 20 running Ubuntu. Uh, it's it's slightly been upgraded, <laughs> and I made a, a new uh, Commodore keyboard to USB Arduino device. It's much simpler and I will do another video about that and thanks to uh, one of my viewers that pointed out that hey you you know you can use more than you can use the the analog pins and I didn't know that at the time so anyway now I'm going to switch to a shot of the uh, the screen here all right so what we want to do is make a file system mkfs.msdos so do a big C there do the directory the path to the directory we want it to be at and call it disk image and the size and on my Tandy 1400 it's expecting to see a 720k disk so I'm going to do that. Now, check and see what size you need. You can do, I think it's 1440, you know, like, or, you know, 1.44 megabytes or whatever. Uh, or even the, what is it, 320K, some of the real old systems. But I need 720, so that's what I'm going to use. All right, so it's made the image. Now I need to mount that image. So, and for this, go do sudo mount. You gotta put it in a, in a loop. Oh, wait a minute, we gotta make the directory. Alright, we gotta make a directory. Media copy one. Uh, okay. Now we've got to oh gotta mount that put that in a loop. And put the disk image. And then we link it to the folder we just created. There we go. And then you can put your files in there. Now, uh, if you try this, so you can't create anything that way, you're going to have to going to have to do it from 
a terminal. So, okay, we're inside the floppy here. Let me go to Pico. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, let me get out of that. No, pseudo Pico. Alright, this is a test. I'm going to write that. Oh, wait a minute. Test. Exit out. Okay, now. If we look at that, now we created the file. Okay, but you're going to have to copy your files using a terminal. Okay, so that's not a big deal. There, there may be a way to do it using the GUI, but I don't know that way. If one of you guys know a way to do it using the interface, then please post a comment below. I just do it using the terminal so that's just me but that's pretty easy it's a free way to do it you know can't beat that can't be free all right so now you can play your old DOS games on your old DOS computers it's simple and it doesn't cost you anything This is Scotty Scotty Animation. Hope you enjoyed the video. Give it a thumbs up. Give it a thumbs down. Leave a comment. Uh, point out any mistakes I made. Like uh, like the viewer from uh, a couple of videos back that said, Hey, you know, you don't need two uh, Arduino Pro Micros and hook together to do that. You can just do it with one. And it's like, oh, okay. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks again because now instead of just having one Commodore keyboard USB device I've got two you know so hey I make mistakes you know uh, I'm still learning all this stuff so I appreciate you guys pointing out my mistakes and teaching me how to be better at doing this all right all right I'll talk to you guys later for more content you can visit www.scottyanimation.com there's a lot more stuff on there